Right, welcome back to the third quarter here at the Western Oval. Bowl post all 6-3-39, Correa 1-3-9, half time. Just waiting for the players to get into position. And umpire twit to start the proceedings here in the third quarter. Yes, Barry, after a long break. And uh, let's hope that the boys have dried off a little bit and can play a little bit better football. But, uh, gee, it's tough out there, mate. Oh. Right. Up she goes. Martin's in there for uh, Bell Post Hill. Dives on the ball after it comes to turf. He gets a handball out. Socket further afield there by McCorran for the uh, Bell Post Hill side. Gives his teammate Holsworth a chance. Uh, couldn't pick it up. Free kick's been paid and it'll bit, go to Corio. Bit tough, Barry. Young Holsfield was the only bloke having a go there and the ball slipped out of his hands. Obviously, it will. Oh, it could Should mark. have been play on. But yes, great grab. Kick forward and David McKernan for the... Uh, no, it's not McKernan, it's uh, Rissinger for Karai. Takes the mark, kicks the ball down towards the forward line. A chance there for his uh, teammate and Keating, but it's socket away from Keating. Over the line it goes and we'll have a throw in. Yes, and, uh, well, there's still uh, plenty of time left in this match. Can Karai get back into the 92 grand final? Ruckman set themselves there for Karaya. We've got Cousins in there. Neil Cousins against Big Martin. It's tapped away here. Oh, grabbed a handball, but uh, there for Karaya. Handball, Marco Tool gave it to the Bell Post Hill player, though. Fresh air kick in the centre half back there by Joseph Barbaro. Picked up here by Mick O'Toole. Gets a handball out wide. Big Martin picks it up. Bang. Down towards the centre wing it goes. Over the heads of the players. A race now for it. Holsworth well down. off the ground. Down towards a pocket. A race for the ball over there in the forward pocket. Two Karaya on one. Well done. Wall picks it up. Handball's a running teammate now. Sybil. Who, who kicks it uh, in towards a 10-yard square. Knocked away from Batty. Players slip over. Karaya socket off the ground. Back towards an hour back but is picked up there by John Bartolo. He's kicked towards a pocket. Pocket. Good play, Charles here. Picks it up, kicks around the corner. Out here, but who should mark it but Johnny Bartolo? Yeah, great football from the youngster. Punts it up there to the teeth of goal. Batty, you nearly took a great grab. Paddled it forward, but uh, no. And I think that was a great effort, Barry, in those conditions. Well, I don't. He took his eyes off the ball and ducked his head. That was probably because he felt the woof of a woof fist. Your eyesight's better than mine, and I wear glasses. Anyway, picked up here by Johnny Bartolo. Kicks wide down towards the pocket. Over it goes, out of bounds, on the full, and the free kick well, to be Barry, taken let's down be, let's be honest. I mean, uh, there's a fair bit of pressure there from the uh, Correa defence, and uh, let's, let's not forget the first half. I think uh, young Betty copped a few early. But he's uh, withstood the pressure and is doing a fine job for the hill. Right, the kick from the back line by Faulkner for the Karaya side comes out wide, wall picks it up, gives it back to John Bartolo. He kicks around towards a corridor. A chance now, socket off the ground for Karaya. Mozza picks it up, kicks the ball out wide towards a half-back flank. Over the line it'll go before his teammate there in Ian Martin could arrive on the scene and we'll have a throw in. Yes, and, uh, well, it's on the outer side and... Uh a young lady there working hard as a... No, it's not, it's a... It's all right, it must be my eyes, Barry. Uh, ball back into play, and uh, Martin does a battle there with the big ruckman for uh, Bell Post Tool against Cousins. That's picked up there, kicked quickly up, but a, a great grab for the Carayo side, and uh, I would suggest that could be Johnny Cousins on the left foot, punts it up there to centre-half forward, but oh, it was too well weighted for young Charles. Coming in, taking a timely grab there for the hill. I think you'll find uh, that could be Justin Cravens, Barry. Michael Scholler. Thanks Scholler kicks down the woods to centre wing and the mark's been taken there by John Bartolo. Always oh, went to play on, slips over, picks himself up now, kicks down towards half forward and it's good mark. Overhead mark taken for Bell Post Hill there by Carlo Burgeon. Good skills too, hasn't he? He has. Comes in now, kicks the ball down towards the... Uh, Sent our forward position <laughs> up high when uh, Ian Martin sitting behind the pack waiting for it to come, Nathan Lewis. And look at the number he's wearing, Barry. Gary Ablett does all those those things all the time and uh, this youngster following his footsteps, do you think? Can he kick a goal? Well, let's see. He's going to try the big torp too. No, it's a drop punt. And I tell you what, it looks good here. I think you'll find it split the woodwork. Nathan Lewis kicks his second. Sorry, first. Just testing, Barry. Just testing. Coles and Garrards do it for you, Ron. Fancy <laughs> calling the boundary umpire a woman. 
Oh, well, it might be the wet locks, mate, the flowing in the wind there. I thought, first of all, it was, but no, it was the uh, your last week. But anyway, the big guest video scoreboard here in this third and vital quarter of football sees Bell Post Hill 7-3, 45, snuck right away there from the Cryo Devils, 1-3-9. Ride the ball back into centre with umpire Hillgrove. Jeez. I don't think he likes a muddy centre there. No, he's... Uh... Doing the evening three-step by the look of it. <laughs> Struggling a little. <laughs> right. Ah, look, it's a, it's, you know, it's a, a life's a laugh a minute, isn't it, Barry? Really, it is. <laughs> From the centre bounce, we see uh, Bell Post will go forward in the mark taken by John Bartolo. Okay, as uh, Bartolo, a busy player for the uh, uh, Bell Post hillside, Baz, and uh, working hard too, Johnny Cousins for no. Corio. Sorry, no. This is about three or four cousins out there, and unfortunately, I think there's another one on the boundary line to come on. So, uh, at any rate, the ball's out of bounds, half forward flank for Karaya. Are they all related, though, Barry? That I don't know. OK, well, now the ball is out of bounds, back into play. We see Cousins doing battle with Martin. Comes to ground. Bartolo again does well. Kicks it back to the centre of the ground. Working hard there for the uh, Carayo side was uh, Johnny Cousins. Paddles it forward. Picked it up there. Well was Mick O'Toole. Pa pumps it out there to the uh, muddy centre again. But, you know, the Bell Post Hill boys did well there. Picked it up and kicked it up quickly. But likewise there, Stewart, I think that was uh, in defence there for Carrillo, did well. Kicks it up there, uh, Bell Post Hill. Looks up there for Burgeon. Thumps it out, but oh, again, Carrillo, well, well smothered there from uh, Barbaro. And he battles in again there for the Hill. And uh, good work there. Oh, great football. Sees them go forward. Now the Hill in front, Batty. Great grab. Yes, that was better. He kept his eyes on the ball there and uh, wrapped the hands around it. Great camera shot too of him, Barry, there on screen. He's uh, got a bit of height about him when he fills out. Uh, you know, he uh, should be good. Certainly will. Drop punt. Comes in. Bad kick. Bad miss. No, Barry, the umpire's raised the two fingers. I'm and just again, checking. Those Coles and Garrard's boys could be very handy, Barry, to go and just get those lenses checked on those glasses. I was just <laughs> checking because you had your head down. I thought, now. Oh, it's been a long day, Barry. Already. <laughs> right now, the ball to go back to the centre is uh, Bell Post Hill, eight goals, 3.51. Correa, one goal, 3.9. On the guest video scoreboard for this third and vital quarter of the 1992 West Coast Junior Football League Grand Final here at the Western Oval. Right, the ball back in the centre now with umpire Twit comes in, throws it up high. Ruckman coming, Martin's in there. He gets it down, but it's Karaya at the bottom of the pack. Uh, pick it up, get a short kick forward, socket further, a feel for them. Coming in there is Matichik for the Bell Post Hill side. Picks the ball up now. Uh, his kick goes nowhere in the muddy centre. Oh, good pick up for uh, the Karaya side there by Johnny Cousins. Kicks it down to half forward. Handballed out here nicely to a running teammate there in Mick O'Toole. Kicks long down towards a four line, looking for Jason Stewart. Too long. Over the line it goes in the pocket, and we'll have a throw in. Yeah, great football there too. David Rissinger for uh, Carrillo, who's uh, battled hard well here this morning too for the Carrillo Devils. Ball now to be brought back into play. Umpire brings it in up. They go, oh, grabbed out of the ruck there for Carrillo by Ricky O'Toole. And yeah. the umpire's picked out a free kick down there, Ron, and yeah. it's to go to Carrillo. Held without the ball, yeah. Ricky O'Toole got to get the free kick. Well, if ever Carrillo need a goal, it's right now. Certainly is, Baz, and... Uh, Been a long time between drinks. This youngster played in the Carrillo under-15 grand final too, I would suggest, uh, a couple of weeks back. So uh, quite a credit for uh, Rick O'Toole as he's waltzed in there from point-blank range. Oh, it was 15 metres out, but he's popped it through. Handy goal for the Carrillo side. Yes, um, he did well down there to uh, in that ruck duel to start off with and uh, earned the free kick and has brought up a major for the Carrillo side. There we are, 2 3 15, Bell Post Hill 8 3 51, and that's proudly brought to you by Guest Video. Certainly, Barry. Hope you're enjoying the call, viewers, and uh, good camera shots too by a cameraman upstairs in Simon Coleman. Right, ball back in the centre. 
Still grey skies above as umpire Twit comes in, throws the ball up high, up they go. Knocked down there for Bell Post Hill by Versheron, but uh, the umpires call for it as the players pick themselves up. I tell you what, they wouldn't want the water to be cold when they go off, will they? <laughs> <laughs> Free kick. Well, he's picked one out there, Baz, and uh, <laughs> oh, whoops, that is. That looks like young Ooh. Ricky O'Toole. Gee, he caught one there too, but gee, look at him battle on strongly there. Oof. Whoops, that is. And uh, a little bit late was, uh, I think you'll find uh, number 13 for Carayo, Michael Mozarts. As, uh, they got the free kick, Baz. Yes, they did. They kicked the ball down towards half forward. There's a chance for him now. Down on the half forward line, slipping and sliding over the line it goes before uh, Paul Smith could take control of it and the boundary umpire will throw it back in. Well, not, a, not a bad crowd here, Ron, this morning, is it? No, it's a great crowd and a uh, credit to the uh, the supporters of both these sides because uh, we've mentioned already conditions not the greatest here today for the greatest game in the world, Australian rules footy. But I tell you what, working hard, Johnny Cousins punts it up there to the teeth of goal. The Bell Post Hill boys defend grimly. Punt, uh, they force the ball forward with some good fist work there and uh, punch wide there, Matthew Lewis. Well done. And I think you'll find the boys have found the boundary line and will have a throw in right in front of the inner social stand here at the Western Oval members' side. Well, the big men fly for that uh, guest video. Pie comes to ground. Matthew Lewis was there for Bell Post Hill. I think you'll find the whistle has sounded and umpire Twit has uh, called for it. Boys. No one wants to give it to him. No, and uh, it uh, gives us a bit of a smile for the cameras too, the umpire. Up they go from the uh, throw of it. Tapped forward for the, the Karaya side. Socket off the ground by the defenders for Bell Post Hill. Goes out towards the half uh, back line. Going in there is Matichik. Takes the ball across the line and we'll have another throw in on the opposite side to whence it's come. That's it, Barry, and it's a, a greener part of the ground. Not quite as much, Matt. <laughs> right, the boundary umpire brings the ball back into play. And uh, Noel Cousins brings it to turf. Kick forward for Carrillo. Down there, oh, good mark. Taken in the 10-yard square by the big fella, Jason Stewart. I think it is from this distance. Yes, yes it is. Good call. And uh, he'll go back now, what, five metres out directly in front. Comes in. Some big shoes to follow too, or Phil. Yes, he has. Puts it straight through the centre. And Jason Stewart brings up his first goal. Carrillo's third. And... Uh, well, they've kicked the last two goals in this quarter on and, uh, you know, they're uh, not giving up the ghost. No, and that's what it's all about, this great game, Barry, and it uh, doesn't matter what the scoreboard says, as long as you keep punching, as our little mate says, and uh, give it 110% uh, until that fat lady sings, who knows what can happen. That's right. At any rate, the ball's coming back to the centre. It's Bell Post Hill on 8, 3.51, Corriere 3, 3.21, brought to you by Guess and Video Productions. Yes, and, uh, well, there's only 30 points in it now. Can Correo get the next goal? That is the question, Barry. Umpire Hillgrove marches into the muddy centre again, throws the ball up high. Up the Ruckman go, tap down for Correo, down towards centre forward, but the defence of Bell Post will get a quick kick out towards centre wing. A race for the ball now, slipping over there uh, for uh, Bell Post Hill was Burgeon, but it's tapped further a fool. Now it's down on the half forward line. Correo desperate, coming through strongly there. Dennis, Dennis gunned in, but he's kick smothered. Uh, socket off the ground for Bell Post Hill. It goes out now, a quick kick forward for them down towards the 50 metre line. Correo come out of defence, good play. Kept the ball ahead and all, tried to pick it up. Try it again. It's like a piece of soap at the moment. It's uh, picked up and kicked towards the centre of ground. Oh, being held was the uh, Cario player there. No free kick pa paid. Bell Post Hill kicked towards centre forward. Going through or oh, a high tackle on the Bell Post Hill. He's penalised for holding the ball, unfortunately, for Bell Post Hill. And the free kick to be taken for Cario centre half back. Yes, opportunity now for the uh, Devils to uh, get the ball out of defence. Comes to where Johnny Cousins works hard. Punts the ball up to centre half forward. Diving lunge there. Good football by. Uh, I think you'll find that was uh, Ryan Jones working hard there for the Hill. Comes out now with a big fella, Cravens. Hand pass. Good football. Finds his teammate. Kicked up there. Oh, but it's in the mud pile again. And uh, makes it pretty tough there for the boys. Gee, they're going in strongly, though, Baz, for the ball. Yes, they are, as Charles is in there, gets it. But he's collared. Ball held to him. The umpire moving and ball that up. Well, number three, Paul Smith. Looks as though he's uh, on the ground for the Corio boys. Umpire Twit throws it in the air. 
Big man fly comes down to where an opportunity for the uh, Corio side. Johnny Cousins only got a short kick. Now diving on the ball there was Marco Tool under a bit of pressure. Got it out to his teammate there, the big boy in the Mostert's. And uh, his quick kick is well sharked by Cravens. Cravens now down towards centre wing. Uh, Carayo in there, oh, bumped off the ball solidly there by the uh, Bell Post Hill player coming in uh, and Versa in. And, but the umpires call for it and he'll ball it up. Solid boy too, isn't he? He Josh? is. Umpire Twit now throws the ball high in air. Up they go. No one gets advantage from the ruck. Uh, going in as Charles, he couldn't take it also in there for the bell post still side is Joseph Barbaro it's a scrimmage at the moment and surely the umpire will move in and ball this one up it certainly is and uh, these boys will sleep well tonight Barry I think one of them will celebrate well tonight before they sleep well well that's the point too because if the bell post still can pull off that unbelievable championship well that's uh, any excuse, Barry. It is another scramble for the ball there in the muddy centre and the umpires m will move in and uh, throw this one up again. Yes, umpire Twit throws it in the air. We've got uh, two big boys there working hard. It was uh, first of all Vershuen for the hills and they got it forward. Now an opportunity kicking it off the carpet there was Gunnerton and uh, it's well sharked there by his teammate who punts wide. Looks oh. there for his teammate well in Mick O'Toole on the left foot. Good football from him. Looks up there to Stewart in front of his opponent but couldn't handle the footy. And I think you'll find we'll have a throw in. Yes, it's a shame. Barry would have been quite a uh, good standard game, I would suggest, had it been like the previous week uh, for Division 2. You know, clear skies and uh, dry ground. Yes, uh, Ron, at any rate, the ball's brought back in all, pushing the back there to the Karaya player, surely. No, he's not given a free kick. It's gone the other way, and they take it quickly. Kick down here towards centre wing. Thumped across the line, though, for in defence there by Paul Smith for Karaya, and we'll have another throw in. Yes, a little bit of a zap has gone out of the, the game. We're late into the third term. Ball back into play. As we see now, uh, again, players going in strongly, though, for it. They haven't lost that will to win. And, uh, oops, oops. Uh, Daisy, a little elbow there was just shoved into the face of young Barbro. But it didn't worry him. No, from that ruck, Jewel, the ball's knocked back across the, uh, the line and we'll have another throw in. Boundary umpire to bring the ball back into play. Up they go. Tap down by Karaya, but it's uh, Bell Post still at the bottom of the pack. Get a quick kick out towards the centre of the wing here. Sock it off the ground. Over the line it goes, and we'll have another throw in. Certainly, and uh, the ball is on uh, the members' side of the ground, probably the better side of the ground today. And uh, we'll wait now for a throw in. Ball over the back of the pack. Shark nicely. Marco Tool caught free one kick. a little high. Yes, and we'll get the free kick. Waste no time. Slaps it onto his left foot. Kicks around the corner, but oh, nice grab taken there for the uh, bell post. Still side in defence. Both played on. Gee whiz, foolishly. Hand pass to Ryan Jones in a worse position for mine. And as you can see, what has happened? Oops. An all-in has now broken out. Those little close encounters, eh, Barry? Yes. few boys getting a little bit excited down there. Certainly. Emergency umpire on the ground. The runners on the ground. Jeff Twitt, not sure what's going on here. Where's the footy? Jason Hillgrove says, come on, you blokes, get back to it. Have we found the football yet, Barry? Yeah, the football's in. I think it's a bell post till free kick. No, it wasn't ball up. Up she goes. That was a quick throw up by the umpire to uh, get rid of them. And here they go, about 15 or 20 of them chasing the ball towards an half back. Ooh. Just, well, that one didn't connect. Yes, yeah, certainly. And uh... another pack developed. The umpire moving ball it up, which he's done. Oh, being held there was a career player. Burst his way through Johnny Cousins, I think it was. Down towards a pocket. Oh, Stewart nearly pulled it in. Unfortunately, he couldn't hang on to it. The defensive bell post still clear the ball around towards half back. And the mark's been taken on half back for bell post still. And they'll relieve. Certainly do, Barry, and he punts the ball up there looking for the high flyer. That was in Carlo Burgeon. Couldn't hold the ball. Comes to ground. Now they work hard. Good football there in defence. Punt the ball out there to centre wing. Overrunning the football now. Leaves all an opportunity there for the youngster from Hill. Cop one a bit high. Yes, as he kicked the ball, and it will go down the ground. 
And we'll just wait now and see who gets the footy. Little Nathan Lewis, the goal snake. Picks the footy up, punts it up to half forward. Chipping in there, uh, overrunning the ball. Bad mistake there, Ooh. Paul Faulkner. But I think you'll find this. The boys just getting a little bit... Uh, Frustrated. Oof. Yeah, loose with their tackles. And... Uh, Gee, Michael Mostarts was lucky there. He was. There's a free kick's been paid to Carlo Burgeon for the Bell Post Hill side. Comes in now with the drop punt. Nice kick off the boot accuracy. Just off, one behind. Yeah, good effort. Very heavy ball and uh, just offline. Just moves them a little further ahead the hill. And uh, the 92 Championship uh, looking reasonably comfortable. Barry, late stages of his third siren. It has sounded, yes, siren has sounded. And, uh, well, I suppose at three-quarter time, when you've got a lead of 31 points, Barry, the Championship would be reasonably comfortable in these conditions. Bell Post till 8.452. Lady Correo, 3.321. What's your thoughts? Yes, well, they uh, got away in the second quarter, Ron, and in, uh, as you say, in these conditions, it's uh, made it very hard for Karai to get back into it. Admittedly, Karai haven't given up at all here. They've been at the bottom of the packs, and, uh, you know, they're making a good fist of it. I would have liked to have seen it in dry conditions, as you said, a while ago, but unfortunately they're not, and uh, Belpost will go into the last quarter with a, a handy break. They certainly do, but still, to Karai's credit... Uh,